Well, with more on Adidas, we are joined right now by the company's CEO, Herbert Heiner. He is joining us now from the headquarters in Germany. Mr. Heiner, glad to have you on with us. So third quarter profits exceeded expectations. Hello. Good morning. But re de debt reduced, so good things there. But there still seem to be some lingering issues, problems the same as in the first half, Eastern European currencies, for example, low consumer demand, just a sort of two takeaway factors. What are you doing to address those problems? I mean, in general, general, you're absolutely right. Uh, on the one hand, we had a very good quota in terms of balance sheet uh, development. Uh, our inventories are quite significantly down. Uh, net debt is down. We are generating a lot of cash around 740 million just in the six last six months from operations. But on the other hand, as you said, we still uh, see challenges with our currency and we can't, and unfortunately, anything uh, do against that. Uh, Russian ruble, where we have a very strong business, uh, has devaluate so the UK pound etc of course we try to manage it as uh, good as we can we try to raise prices where possible we try to stimulus uh, the engagement with the consumers and all in all when you compare our revenues uh, with uh, the quarter last year the same quarter where we had the Olympic Games in Beijing and the outgoing of the European World Cup Championship uh, 2008 in Austria and Switzerland, then I think we have done quite well in the third quarter. When do you see a turnaround, though, for those Eastern European cur currencies, for particularly the low consumer demand? You can't do anything about the currencies, as you said. Also, your, your strategy of perhaps reducing stocks. When do you see things getting better for the company? Good. I do believe that overall we still will see uh, six to 12 months where the economy is shaking. Uh, we, we hear uh, positive news uh, more often, you but we also have setbacks. Uh, when you look to the retail environment, it's still not pretty. We have insolvencies as here in Germany from one of the big mail order houses, Quelle. Uh, and so we uh, get from time to time setbacks. I personally do believe that we will see a slight improvement in the GDP in 2010. We will slight improvement see in the consumer confidence, but it will not reach up to level of 2007 or 2008 immediately. Mr. Heiner, Philip Enzi at the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Um, you were talking about 2010, but also Hello. the Soccer World Cup is, uh, is coming up uh, in South Africa. When do you expect really to ramp up marketing spending on the one hand? And on the other hand, when do you see investors seeing increased sales in your uh, books? Good, as you said, Philip, uh, the World Cup is definitely a huge opportunity for us. And I have already stated a few months ago that I uh, foresee for 2010 a record year for us in football. Uh, we have uh, uh, extremely good uh, uh, product concepts coming into the market, starting with the individual jerseys, with new football boots. Boots December 4th, we're launching the official World uh, uh, Cup uh, match ball, uh, and so on and so forth. We have already 10 teams qualified and two more to go, France and uh, uh, Russia. We are the official supplier and partner of the FIFA. So I definitely do believe that we will see positive uh, growth uh, numbers in uh, terms of sales for football in 2010. And I'm also for our overall business in terms of uh, top line, uh, cautiously optimistic. Mr. Heiner, it's Eric Schatzker here back in New York. A quick question on Reebok. Sales are down again. Why? What's, what's the point of continuing to invest money in this brand? Good. Obviously, in our industry, uh, we, uh, when we design and develop products, we are already 12 to 18 months ahead. So I see a little bit more what's coming in the future than what you can see in the moment in the market. And this is really encouraging and exciting. The new products we have just started last week. Uh, the biggest advertising campaign for Reebok in the U.S. Uh, with Easy Tone, which hitting now step by step all the channels in the U.S. Uh, a big digital campaign and the first uh, results which we get so far in the last few days are quite uh, exciting. So 2010 we definitely will have a much better product offering and Mr. also more stimulus and the reaction from okay. the retailers is positive so far. Mr. Heiner, thank you so much for joining us.